My name's Rebecca Tan, this is Making Lot, and today I'm going to show you all the haul we got for Christmas. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise to regular viewers for not having videos last few weeks. As you can see, there's been a few changes in the setup here, and we've been absolutely rushed trying to get last minute gifts sorted for Christmas. So, this week I wanted to show you all the wonderful things we got and talk about some of them in a lot related context. And next week we're going to show you how to make one from a kit. So, if you're not interested in looking at the shiny things, please stick around. Ideally, the vi next video is going to be out by the end of next week, but obviously, next week is going to be New Year's, so just when we get a chance around work and parties and stuff. So this little set here is basically all of the gifts that myself and my wife got. Um, we're pretty geeky people, our friends are that we're geeky, so there's a lot of geeky treasure in there, some lot related stuff, some just general stuff. Now this one is mine, for those that don't recognise what this is, this is a drop spindle. Uh, I say it's called that because you tend to drop it a lot, but it's used for making your own yarn from fibre. I had recently broke mine, so I asked my lovely wife to get me this, so I'm very pleased. We've got quite a wide selection of geeky books, movies and DVDs. So we've got The Guild, we've got the wonderful Irish comedy Father Ted. A friend got this for Emma, who is actually a, not a big fan of Doctor Who and constantly complains about missing all the references so he got her this in the hopes that it would lead her a little bit more understanding even if she doesn't really appreciate the show. More Guild stuff. Arrow. This was actually on my list. Um, I've heard great things but not actually seen the show so hopefully at some point in the near future I'll be able to mainline the whole thing. And I believe two of my favourite actors Alex Kingston and John Barrowman are in the show, so that should be really good. Uh, this is for Emma, I've got no idea. Cooking books. Again, this is a present for Emma. Not really my thing. Um, I was very definitely not in charge of cooking things on Christmas Day because people like their taste buds to function and not get food poisoning. More cooking. The Herring Bikers are a great duo who have hilarious TV show about cooking. Um, again, not really my thing, though I do enjoy watching the show. Um, hopefully it means I'll get nice tasty food. Now this is a cool one. We, as we mentioned, do quite a lot of homebrew and you could probably hear the cat in the background cleaning herself because she just loves, loves interrupting with stuff. So we're going to hopefully use this as a great resource. As I mentioned, next week's video will be all about homebrew, so if we picked up any really awesome tips and tricks, we will pass them on. Mega Kraken! For those who haven't played, King of Tokyo is an awesome game where you play uh, kaiju and other big monsters um, that are totally not called Godzilla for copyright reasons. Um, so you have a, a Godzilla-esque thing, you have a metal dragon, you have a King Kong style creature and you fight them all for being the best monster in Tokyo. It's lots of fun. We didn't have to play it over Christmas but it's going to be a staple of our game collection for a while. More comedies. A uh, wonderful friend bought me this. This is the role playing game of a Game of Thrones. I'm going to have to dust off my uh, DM thinking cap and come up with a campaign to run for my friends and I might review it in a later episode. Now I'm not aware of any Game of Thrones LARP that exists. But there has just been released the first Game of Thrones sewing pattern. Now, with sewing patterns, you do tend to find that they are not officially licensed, but there is now a sewing pattern out there that 
does dresses very similar to those that Cersei and Stanza wear in the TV show. So hopefully this is the first of many and we'll see a trend of Game of Thrones inspired costuming, which you can then take on to a LARP saying. I have a terrible, terrible habit of flicking through sewing and knitting books whenever I'm in a library and then sticking them on my Amazon wish list if I think they're good. Um, I saw a much older copy of Vogue Sewing and was absolutely enthralled and this one seems to have a lot more coloured pictures and diagrams and hopefully will be my go-to bible of how to sew because I'm not that great at it at the moment. We have another DVD. This is obviously the day of the Doctor. Um, as I mentioned, huge Doctor Who fan. Well, the new Who series anyway. I'm afraid I'm not up to date on my classics. I have vague memories from childhood, but I've not had a chance to go through and re-watch the old series. Though it is on my to-do list. So I was very pleased to get this. Another comedy DVD, World's End, the third of the Cornetto trilogy of Simon Frost, Nick Pegg and Edgar Wright. Again, it's a film that I meant to go see in the cinemas but didn't get a chance to, so I will be watching this soon. Now I always, for some reason, when it's written down, read this as hyperbole rather than hyperbole. It's actually fairly recently that I actually realised that that's what the word was pronounced like and written like. I'd heard it pronounced, I'd seen it written down, I just pronounced it differently in my head. So this is actually hyperbole and a half, which is an awesome uh, webcomic creator who has released a book which is a mix of the style of comics that she does in the series, some that are already on there, some that are brand new, with written descriptions kind of explaining the whole story. I've read about the first five or six chapters already and it's hilarious so I want to give my wife a great big shout out for getting this for me. Um, if you don't recognise the art style you probably recognise the various internet memes of DO ALL THE THINGS which is a parody of her original comic which I believe was Clean All The Things but it's been co-opted for a hundred different things. We also received the Firefly game and we've already played it. It is fantastic. I played it beforehand but surprisingly, or perhaps unsurprisingly, it was supposed to be completely sold out everywhere and huge issues with the pre-orders. So the fact that someone was able to get a copy for us was amazing. This is a wonderful handmade leather pouch that a friend made for us. I'm going to keep this and use it as my in-character purse. You can see got a key ring holder and a little thing so it's got great little use as attachments and it was obviously made with a lot of thought and care. Now the last thing I want to show off is this beautiful handcrafted leather pouch that I had custom made for Emma. Now you've seen my leather work tutorials and you can tell that this is a lot more high end than the stuff I'm capable of doing at the moment. This is made by a company called Sanctuary Leathers, who is local to us in Newcastle. And as you can see, it's been finished amazingly well. And I absolutely love it, and Emma loves it too, which was all you can really hope for in a gift. So as you can see, it's really well made, and I would highly recommend the crafter to anyone that's looking to get custom items made. And I stuck a little gifty thing from Lush in there. So the pouch will hopefully smell a little bit like honey. So that's all the wonderful things we received this year. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who got us a present this year. Uh, you've all been wonderful, you're our friends, our family, we love you. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Sanctuary Levers, the craftsperson who made the wonderful leather bag. I will put a link to their store in the description and hopefully having seen their work, work will inspire you to get a few custom pieces made. I'd like to thank everyone that's watching these video series and putting up with our learning process as we try and get this all to look great, sound great and be actually informative and useful for you. 
I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and again, a huge thank you.